What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, um, woke up late, a nice 12 hour nap, <coughs> 12 hours sleep, I should say. And yeah, we're here. We're ready to grind today. We have a ton. We have a ton to talk about with MT, a ton. Market is crazy right now. Right now, it is finally rising, so we're gonna go over all the tips, all investments, and everything with that. As usual, drop 20,000 MT in the comments. Let's get this vid to 100 likes to get away 20,000 MT to possibly five people. So make sure to drop that like. Um, would be greatly appreciated. So let's get into some MT talk. Let's get into some market talk. As you can see, man, we're gonna have a separate video for this, but yo, Jeremy Lin is so good at Amethyst. I can't even imagine him at Diamond. So I'm probably going to get him to a Diamond 93 today. We're trying to work on his Pink Diamond. It's probably really hard, but I heard the Evo requirements are easier. So we're going to try to get that done. Lin has been playing really good for me. I'm on the seventh challenge for Lin. Wish me luck, man. We're trying to get that Roy. We also got to finish the Blake one. We're stuck on the Dwight 7. Instead of doing the Dwight 7 blocks, I started working on the Jeremy Lin. So a little behind. Probably like 24 challenges behind, but we will get there. We will get Opal Roy. We will get Stefan Marbury. We will get Blake. We will get Pink Diamond Lin. And we will get Galaxy Opal Brandon Roy to Moddy Kids online. Before we do get into it, I want to show you my squad right now. It's freaking solid, not going to lie. If I could just show you what I actually rep. Um, yeah, it's freaking amazing, man. Um, let's see. We have Kristaps. This isn't... Hmm, I, I, hate, I wish my squad was actually together but yeah we really wait where's my actual squad is it here it is here so this is my squad this isn't actually my squad but it's close to my squad let's just show you this so this is my squad right now we really have reggie lewis up there we really have reggie lewis here and instead of reggie lewis we have rick barry here so that would be my squad it's pretty freaking solid i would say definitely selling a lot of cards tomorrow and today so uh yeah without further ado let's get into some market talk my squad is looking gorgeous, and yeah, so let's go. So yesterday, market crashed like crazy. Day before that, market crashed like crazy. What did you do with your MT? Well, I established my MT, making hundreds of thousands of MT. Hopefully, you guys did the same. Now, today, market is up probably double. Uh, today's a very good day to sell cards, and I'm going to show you why right now. So yesterday, I marked down prices on my notes and it looked like Perzingis was around 150 yesterday. He's now at 220 with 22 contracts. Mine has an unlimited contract. So if you do want to pick up Critty, this might be your last chance of getting him. He is, is he out of packs? He's out of packs. There's no way of getting him. Now, his value is crazy through the charge. So, since he is in the next prime, you will see his price possibly go to 300. If you got him for 150, congratulations, you're making a ton of MT. If you want to sell him, if not, you got him for the low in the prime set. So, he was at 150 yesterday, and that is a fact I have written down. Now, God talk about the Bosch. I picked up Bosch for 145 with diamond shoes and diamond contracts. I think he's up to around 181 with diamond contract and diamond shoe but this one does have a three so yeah you probably sell your Bosch for 180 he's up about 30k from yesterday another dub in the chat marcus saw ping diamond good luck evoing him it's terrible it's too hard um but if you do have him sell him asap now we have some other things to talk about which is the diamonds in the new spotlight now this method should make you tons of mt it is in the Jeremy Lin spotlight. Now, all right, it's just sorry for the lag. This right here, man. Diamonds, Pat Bev is one player you really want to stock up on because his price is so low. He has Hall of Fame clamps. He's a key for a bunch of ballers. And who doesn't like Pat Bev? So for 9-6, I'm clearly, ah, this is one player you want to stack up on. For Try to get him for under 10K. As the, as the days goes on, usually the huge hype is the day when the set drops is when they're the cheapest. I did not get to pick up anything when the set dropped. I was at work till like 6. So, got home, played some solos, played my friend, destroyed him three times. Shout out to him. His team is insanity. He pulled pretty much every ping diamond in the game because he spams his credit card. But, uh, yeah. 
Beat him a couple times, grinded. Now we're looking for this Pat Bev. Trying to stock up on some Pat Bevs. Also some Marcus Sauls, which we will go to right now. So now, with Marcus Saul being actually kind of expensive, he's actually kind of key to stock up on. So let's see what his price is. I think it's around 30-ish K. 32K, that actually might be a snipe. 32K for center Mark Gasol. It's not. So Marcus Gasol going for around 35-ish, I would say. With his 95 appeal, he should be able to go up. But then again, um, I'm not totally sure. Try to get him for around 30K, and he might rise to 40-something tomorrow. Tomorrow might be a really good day to sell your whole team, which I might, I probably will be doing, unfortunately. Probably selling most of my team using my Nat players like Richard Jefferson, Rick Barry, Giannis, and Spotlights to get those done. Trying to Evo Lynn, trying to Evo Kareem. Evo and Kareem is almost impossible. But yeah, right now, try to stock up on Diamonds, try to stock up on Marcus Saul, try to stock up on Beverly. Also, some other players that you probably invested in, some players I invested in and I told you guys to invest in. <laughs> Diamond Kobe, Diamond Carter, Diamond Paul George. Why? Because they're low-key, high-key, the best shooting guards for Diamonds. And they could literally play against Galaxy Opals. So, that is why I'm saying that. I got Kobe for 70k with a Diamond contract. Oh, okay. He's around 77. He's going to rise even more. Tomorrow is Sunday. Par no one really plays 2k on Sunday for some reason. I don't know why. Market always goes up on Sunday. If you do want to scoop with Kobe for 75 not a bad idea. I got my with a diamond contract. I could probably sell him for 90-ish K and make some MT. So now, Diamond Kobe, great pricing. Now we gotta look at Vince Carter around the same price with pretty much better stats. Not nah, very similar stats, I should say. Have him on my team. He's been playing freaking lights out. I got him for 50k. Literally 50k on I guess a snipe. He's going for around 70 something. Really good car to look at. He's at 70k. His price should continue to rise with Spotlight Super Packs gone. Kids are still trying to complete these Spotlight Packs, which is kind of crazy. So if you do have Vince Carter, you could go ahead and sell him, make that MT. Now, Pink Diamond Kareem. Hakeem, I should say. Went down to 150. He's back at 211. I just saw one sell a minute ago for 211. If you have Hakeem and you want to sell him because you did the Spotlights, go ahead and sell him. Pretty much every card you have is a sell now. Also, some Amethyst I want to talk about. We got some bonus, some bonus people sell him tomorrow for all you that invested in him. He is out of packs. Not a bad time to invest, uh, not a bad time to sell every single card you have. I think this a bonus is probably up to like 30 something, 4 ish K. So I would recommend selling him as the market keeps going up. Everything is going to keep going up. Tomorrow is going to be the best day to sell. And right now, I'm pretty much just going to sit on the Pat Bev slash Gasol all day just considering the fact if you put your price to diamond 9k and you somehow get a Marcus Saul that's 20k profit 8-9 for Pat Bev that's mine let's go so we got our Pat Bev we can make a saw 1k quick but I'm gonna hold on to them as I do need to finish these Jalen sets right now man Pat Bev is so cheap for the Hall of Fame clamps he has Hall of Fame clamps gold quick draw his offense is a little trash but his defense bro at 97 and 97 he has like Tony Allen defense at point guard Highly recommend. Pat Bev is just a must on the team. I, I'm literally, I love Pat Bev because he trash talks everybody. I know a lot of people hate him, but you know, I kind of like him. He's such a good, he's so good at trash talking. He's always on a contending team and he's low key fire. So try to filter out. Let me know how it goes. Also, for all you people that have silvers, I believe, let's see what their price is. I believe they actually did drop. A lot of them dropped. A lot of them went up. But most silvers in the game did drop. What right now would be a really good time to do collections. I know silvers were really high the other day, but right now collections are really a must with the market crash. Um, it's kind of crazy, man. It's kind of crazy. There's so many players that I'm trying to pick up on heat check. Um, it looks like heat checks even down a lot. Heat check, heat check players are down, uh, down a lot too because of the moments, bro. Pink diamond Zion. <clears throat> I honestly think he's gonna go up even more. Every time they drop a Zion, they make it so limited. So let's check out his price. He was at 170. He's around 200 something. This one is 186 with a ton of with a lot of uh, a lot of time left. So he's gonna go for around 220, 210. If you want to sell him, not a bad idea. But honestly, I think he might rise to 300. It sounds crazy, but I'm not totally sure. 
But anyways, guys, hope you did enjoy the video. Some MT tips for you. Hope you guys really did enjoy. We're going to have a second video talking about Pink Dye and Lynn probably. So make sure to drop that like. Make sure to drop the sub. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a good one. Peace.